Things are decidedly fragile at the moment. There was some disappointment that the European Central Bank did not extend its stimulus program. Maybe it's because there could be a little inflation around. Let's not get carried away, but the Fed's long-term inflation forecast is picking up. We're not talking hyperinflation here. No need to run out and stock up on canned soup just yet. This tells you that the Fed expects inflation to climb 1.5% a year by 2020. This is probably a little more immediate. China gave us deflation by flooding the world with cheap manufactured products we love. This shows you that prices are picking up at the factory gate, so it's only a matter of time before they flow through to prices for Chinese exports. The Australian market continued to be sold off. It's lost nearly 4% in less than a month. Financial stocks took most of the heat because of that ECB disappointment. Woolworth slumped to a six-week low. The court battle with its American partner Lowe's in the failed home improvements chain Masters is starting to unnerve investors. We're keeping a close eye on all things property, and today's numbers won't scare the policymakers who might be worried about a property bubble. Housing finance fell in July. What might be a concern is the mix. Finance to owner-occupiers fell, while lending to investors looks like it's making a comeback. The uncertainty about Europe's stimulus plans didn't help the Australian dollar. It's back below 77 US cents, and that's finance.